This video will discuss classifying assets based on vulnerability data in Tenable SC. Tenable SC assets are lists of systems within a Tenable SC organization. You can create an asset list to group devices that share common attributes. Then, you can use the asset list throughout other workflows in Tenable SC. To begin, navigate to the Assets section. There are a variety of asset lists which are added by default for device types and operating systems. Add an asset list based on vulnerability data. In the Templates section, click Vulnerabilities. You can add these ready-made asset lists with the click of a button. You can add the Critical Vulnerabilities Asset List, which identifies all assets with at least one critical vulnerability. If desired, you can view the number of assets on a per-repository basis. You can further refine this asset list by using it as a base and making edits. For example, add another rule to focus on Windows systems. First, change the clause from any to all. Next, Add a new rule. Choose Operating System as the filter and use Regex as the matching operator. This will match on the different spellings of Windows. Next, change the name and description to match the updated rules. Now save the asset list. You can see the number of matching assets has dropped significantly due to the added filter. You can also use different types of asset lists to refine the data set. The combination asset list is a good example of this. For example, to identify critical Windows assets that are also in a specific location, you can leverage a static asset list which has already been created for the corporate headquarters. Using the AND clause, this combination asset list will identify the systems that exist in both lists to produce a list of Windows assets located in the corporate headquarters. As you can see, this combination asset list has narrowed our systems down to two hosts that exist in both the corporate headquarters and match a Windows operating system as well as have a critical vulnerability. You can now use these two asset lists to do analysis, create dashboards, and run reports.